Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to recap and explain a recently released action horror film called Prey. But first, if you have not subscribed to my channel then please do it. It really helps. This is the seventh film in the Predator franchise including Alien vs Predator. It's a sequel to all Predator films. It starts in the year 1719 in the Native American land of the Comanche tribe. We see a teenage girl Nero who aspires to be a hunter. The patriarchal norms here prohibited her but she was adamant. She had raised and trained a dog by the name of Sarai who was very loyal to her. One morning while practicing with her axe, Nero saw a deer. She decides to hunt it. As soon as she took up a position, a loud thunderous noise from the sky caused the deer to run. Nehru and the dog chased after it but it was fast. Dog's leg got trapped in a bear trap hence it started screaming. Nehru released the dog and applied some herbal medicine to its tail which greatly reduced the dog's pain. She wondered how the trap got here in the first place, who placed it? Here she again heard loud thunderous noise from the sky and followed it to the edge of a cliff. There we see a predator ship arriving. Predators are species who love to hunt, Earth was their favorite planet. From time to time they decent here, hunt the species on top of the food chains and collected their skull as a trophy. For many young predators Earth was their test field to prove their worth. Nehru saw this cloud bursting as a sign from a thunderbird. Thunderbird is a legend in many cultures, it is believed to create thunder and lighting while flapping its wings. Nehru confused predatorship for this legend and thought she is ready. Next, she met his brother Tabe who was a warrior and like all males in this tribe, his primary job was to hunt and provide food. Nehru insisted on joining men for her first big hunt as she thought she was ready. Tabe was not sure, he genuinely believed women are not good at it. He says to Nehru that you want to hunt something that wants to hunt you. It's a dangerous thing. Later Nero helps her mother in preparing medicine for one injured man. She was also sharpening her axe to which her mom says to quit it. She too believed it was not the job of the women to hunt. Here a woman was not supporting another woman as historical patriarchy was so embedded in the culture that slight deviation from it seemed an impossible thing to do. Tabe here brings some food, he encourages her for hunting even though he believed otherwise. Next a predator jumps from the ship with its invisible tech. While picking an herb Nehru saw all men leaving for forest as a lion just grabbed a man named Puri into the jungle. Nehru here follows these men. Predator on the other hand saw a snake swallowing a mouse. He attacked the snake and killed it. Tabe and others quickly found Nehru following them, they wanted her to head back but Tabe insisted on her joining them. Nehru was needed to treat Puri if they found him alive. These guys found him after some time, Nara feeds him some herbs after which he started shivering. Tabe asked a few men to carry Pori back to the village and he insisted Nero join them. He with the remaining others went ahead to hunt that lion. While heading back dog Sari found the skin snake, Nero saw a large footprint of the predator. She was confused as she has never seen such footprints in these woods. She assumed it to be a big bear, hence decides to warn Tabe. She heads back to the lion's den where her brother was laying in ambush. She explains to him what she saw, she believes something scared the lion hence it is attacking in panic Tabe dismissed her as being a predator of the woods nothing can scare a lion. Strangely here he too saw a few dead animals killed in a rather odd manner. Nehru suggests using them as bait while she and the other guy waiting up on a tree. Tabe agreed, Nehru with the other guy climbed a tree. The lion saw these two from a distance and charged at them. The other guy was not convinced about this idea as he believed Nehru should have stayed in the village. As he started arguing with her. The lion attacked him from behind and killed him. Soon it started chasing Nehru. These two were on a tree trunk, it started shaking as Nehru moved to the edge. Here she heard and saw the predator with lighting in the woods and quickly fell from the tree. Next, we see Nehru in her house, she was alive. Her mom wakes her up and gives an update. Tabe killed the lion and brought her back here. Nehru's mom congrats her on saving Pori's life and scolds her for going on a reckless hunt like this. Later Tabe brings lion's carcass, everyone rejoices. However, in private he appreciated Nehru's help. Nehru sticks to her theory of something hunting the animals, she wanted to go out again. But Tabe dismisses it again, he says you are not fit to hunt. You can't hunt. 
Like all angry teenagers, Nehru doesn't give a damn. The next morning she with her dog started tracking predators' footprints. She makes a rope from wood skins, ties to it her axe, and practices it as a boomerang. The predator saw a wolf hunting a rabbit, it stands between the two and attacked the wolf. He severed its head, took it to a nearby cave, and dissolved it in acid. He collected its skull as a souvenir. Nero kills many rabbits with her new technique, she and her dog enjoyed a great lunch. As she reached the boundary line she saw many buffalo carcass without skin. Someone or something had brutally killed them. Nera here pray for them as buffaloes were sacred in her tribe. They were the symbols of honor and generosity. She finds a cigar here. Next Nehru slips into a swamp which starts to absorb her. Predator also arrives at the buffalo site, he too saw a cigar. Nehru threw her axe with force to a nearby bush, hooked it, and came up somehow. Clearly, this scene is a throwback to the original Arnold Schwarzenegger scene in the first Predator film. Later she heads to a nearby river to clean herself. After some time a bear arrives there with its catch. As it was eating it, it smells Nero's dog and starts chasing it. Nero quickly tried to hunt it down but her bow broke. Bear sees this, it charges and finally pins her down in a small bush. But for its bad luck, the invisible predator was seeing all this, he attacks the bear from behind and we some awesome fight between these two as both were equally powerful. Nero runs away from here like anything, she saw the predator killing the bear with bare hands. She learned one or two lessons on hunting as clearly she was not fully ready. Men from the village were searching for Nero on Tabe's order. Upon finding her Nero tried explaining what she saw but they dismissed it. Obviously believing in an invisible beast is a tough ask. A fight broke here as Nero was in no mood to go back. Predator was seeing all this, it assumed these men as the apex predators as their primitive weapons red flagged it. Men captured Nero, tied her hand and as they started heading back they heard the predator's roaring voice. Men took up the position, one went ahead to check but nothing was visible. Nero begged him not to go but he didn't listen. We see three laser guided pointers on his body, the predator quickly shreds him to pieces with metal arrows. The remaining men randomly released their arrows in the open field one of which hit the predator. Finally, everyone saw this creature, they attacked it but obviously it was too much for them. Nero smartly cut herself loose and started running away from here. After killing all those men predator starts chasing Nero. Soon Nero's leg gets trapped in a bear trap, she tries escaping but fails. The predator comes very close to her, saw her trapped, and walks away. He was here for the thrill of hunting, not for random killings. Nero was unarmed and trapped hence she was not worthy of his prey. We see a bunch of French frontier men with their guns screaming at Nero as they were the ones who were laying traps all across the woods. They took Nero to their camp, where she saw one guy smoking a cigar. She understood these guys killed their scared buffaloes as it was a common tactic back in the day to deprive indigenous people of their livelihood. One translator tells Nero to describe her encounter with a predator, his weakness, and strengths. He had killed many of their men as well, they wanted to hunt it down. Nero tells him nothing. These men have captured Tabe, they make him bleed and tied him with Nero as bait to hunt that predator. Nero knew predator won't hunt the bait hence she was relaxed. As obvious the predator attacked these French men from behind and brutally killed most of them. He used all his modern techniques including drones. He was also injured in all this. On the other hand, Nero and Tabe escaped. They reached the campsite where Nero killed all remaining French men, she released her dog. Then she saw the translator who begged for his life. He was ready to teach her the usage of a gun in exchange for medicine. Nero agreed, she took his gun and learned how to use it. She fed him the medicine which lowered his body temperature. When the predator arrived here this French man was completely invisible to him on his thermal radar as the temperature was down. Nero sensed another weakness of this creature here. But for French men's bad luck predator stepped on his leg, he screamed and got slaughtered in return. Nero's dog started barking here, the predator pointed his laser at it. Tabe suddenly attacked the predator from behind and threw away his helmet. The lasers were now pointing at a tree when the predator released the arrows thinking it will hit the dog instead it hit the pointers on the tree. This means these metal arrows followed the pointers, not the subject. Somehow this predator didn't know this flaw. 
Nehru observed this second weakness. Tabe asked Nehru to run away as it was impossible for both to survive. He bought some time by fighting hand in hand here, he greatly injured this creature but ultimately sacrificed himself. Heartbroken Nehru escaped with her dog to someplace safe. She was not done yet, she decides to go all in. After nightfall, she captured another Frenchman and severed his leg. She wanted to use him as bait, instead of tying him she severed his leg so that he can't run. She also took her own medicine which lowered her body temperature. The predator walked right past her without sensing her. Nara shot clearly at the predator's neck causing a grave injury. She quickly stole his helmet and ran like hell. She placed it near the quick mud spot in such a way that once the predator occupies that spot it comes clearly in the line of sight of lasers. After killing the French man, the predator chased Nero, we see some brutal action scenes here. Nero smartly severed his hand from his own weapon. Later she jumped on him from a tree, attacked randomly, and dragged him to the ambush site. As a last resort, he opened his metal arrows and pointed them at Nero's. Nero sensed her plan working, she jumped out and pointers pointed at the predator himself. The metal arrows boomeranged and killed the predator in one shot. The hunter got hunted. Nero took his head back to her village where everyone was happy but sad as well. They had lost many of their men in one night. They accept Nero as a hunter and gave her the position of the warchief. She then hands the pistol to the elder of the tribe. It had an engraving that reads, Raphael Adelini, 1715. This is a callback to Predator 2 movie. At the end of that movie, which is set in 1997 Los Angeles, Danny Glover's LAPD Lieutenant Harrigan character is gifted that exact pistol from a Predator. The film doesn't have the end credit scene but the credit itself serves as one. Initially, we see an animation of what happened till now but at the end, we see three Predator ships arriving at the village. My guess is they will congratulate Nehru for winning the game of Hunt with nothing. She may give up her pistol to them which will end up in 1998. Clearly, this is one solid Predator film unlike the previous ones with lots of room for sequels. Overall it's an enjoyable one. Please subscribe to my channel. Give it a like. Thanks for watching. Take care.